the Dell XPS. What can I say? There's just so many things wrong with this laptop. A few months ago, I made a video talking about the five most common problems, and I received so many comments from you guys telling me about even more problems. I looked over all your comments, and I was able to put together another five most common problems to look out for, and I'm also going to address five solutions to these common problems. Let's get started. Number one most common issue is the screen flickering. So many of you guys are experiencing problems with your screen and I understand your frustrations. It's so annoying to have a faulty screen. The first step to solving this problem is to figure out whether you have a hardware or a software problem. And you can do that by connecting an external monitor to your laptop and observing whether that external monitor experiences that screen flickering. If that external monitor doesn't flicker, then it's most likely a hardware issue with your laptop and you most likely need your screen replaced. And finding a replacement screen that fits your laptop can be a pain. On top of that, removing your old screen and installing the new one is not an easy task. You definitely have to be somewhat tech savvy to do this without damaging any of the components inside the laptop. That's why I would recommend to get an exchange or return if you're still within your return window or contact Dell support to come to your place and fix it for you. If your external monitor flickers as well, then you can relax a little bit because it's most likely a software problem and that is a lot easier and cheaper to fix than a replacement screen. For my research, the best way to solve this would be to go to Intel's website and in the search bar, type Windows 10 DCH drivers and it should be the second search result. As of January 10, 2021, this is the latest Intel graphics driver. On the left hand side, you can download either the .exe or zip file. Either one should work. After completing installation, your screen should be back to normal. Number two most common problem is crackling noises in your audio. Now I did address this problem in my first video, but I want to thank one of my commenters for pointing this out, that the crackling noises usually appear during specific sounds, and those sounds are mostly related to Windows operation sounds. For example, when I play the Windows asterisk, you can hear that distortion at the end of the audio. Listen closely. doesn't sound smooth at all, you can definitely hear that crackling noise at the end. Now this is what it's supposed to sound like. A lot clearer, right? So much better than this. After spending a lot of time researching a solution, I'm not happy to say this, but there's no solution to this problem. You can have the most up-to-date drivers, BIOS, and Windows operating system, and you'll still experience this problem. To make you guys feel a little bit better, in my experience, I actually didn't notice this issue until one of my commenters pointed this out to me. But I get it, this laptop is too grand, and you expect better. So in conclusion, if you know this is something that will bother you, Avoid the XPS at all costs. Comment sheet number three, loud beeping sounds coming from your laptop. And those beeping sounds aren't coming from your speakers because when you mute the volume, you can still hear those beeping sounds. Now this is something fairly easy to fix. Always make sure your drivers are updated, especially your BIOS. If you guys don't know what BIOS is, it stands for Basic Input and Output System. It's a type of firmware that's stored on your chip that's connected to your motherboard. It's used to perform hardware initialization during the booting process and also to provide runtime services for operating systems and programs. Now where do you go to update your BIOS or drivers? Go to dell.com support. And this is the page that you want to be at. You can enter your service tag here, but if you don't know it, select Browse All Products. Choose whichever applies to you. In my case, I have a laptop, XPS, XPS 15, and XPS 9500. And then on this page, click Drivers and Downloads. This is where you can download all the latest drivers for your computer. To update the BIOS, under Category, select BIOS. And this is the latest BIOS that you should have. 
Go ahead and click it and it shouldn't take more than 5 minutes to update and that should solve your beeping problem. Common issue 3.5. Now I want to address another problem that's related to beeping. This time is when you hear beeping sound when you start up your computer. You can hear three beeps or five beeps, whatever the number is, and you're probably like, what the hell is that? Those beeps are actually signals telling you what's wrong with your computer. If you're still confused, take a look at this chart on the Dell's website. As you guys can see, the first column tells you the number of beeps and the faults on the second and third column. For example, one beep means there's a BIOS ROM failure in the motherboard and you would need to run the Dell Diagnostic to get to the root cause. To get to the Dell Diagnostic page, follow this link I have right here. And then click Run Quick Test and the results should tell you exactly what's wrong with your computer. Now going back to the chart, I'm not going to go over each one for the sake of time, but if you're hearing beeps during your startup, take a look at this chart and follow the instructions and that should give you a good start on what you need to do. Common issue number four, your laptop reboots out of nowhere and it's always during very inconvenient moments. Again, make sure your laptop is up to date. This includes Windows updates, BIOS updates, drivers updates, diagnostic utilities updates. If it is up to date, the next step you should take is to check whether or not your hard drive is listed in your BIOS, and I'll show you how you can do that. To access the BIOS menu, hit the Start button and click Settings. Hit Updates and Security, click Recovery, and then click Restart Now in the Advanced tab. It'll bring you to this page and hit Troubleshoot and hit Advanced Options. In Advanced Options, click UEFI Firmware Settings and then click Restart. And that should bring you to the BIOS menu. On the BIOS, select Enter Setup and this is the page we need. In the Fixed HDD row, it should be able to locate your hard drive. If that hard drive isn't listed and you see None, Resetting BIOS defaults may work. If that doesn't work, you can try disconnecting and then reconnecting your hard drive, which shouldn't be too hard to do. If this doesn't work, then you most likely need to purchase a new hard drive because your current hard drive is corrupt, and that's what's causing your laptop to crash so often. And last but not least, common issue number five, repeated key presses. And what I mean by that is let's say you press the letter W on your keyboard. Instead of showing up once on your screen, it'll show up multiple times. So how do you fix this? First thing is to start simple. Attach an external keyboard to your laptop and see if that problem still persists. This will help narrow down if it's your existing keyboard that's a problem or if it's a software problem. If that external keyboard doesn't experience the repeated key presses, the next step I would take is to clean your keyboard on your laptop. So take an air gun or whatever you have to blow out any potential debris in the cracks of the keys just like this. If that doesn't work, make sure the BIOS is up to date on your laptop. Like I mentioned before, the BIOS controls your input and output systems, so make sure that is up to date. If your BIOS is up to date and you still experience this problem, then you most likely need a keyboard swap, which is a little tricky if you're not very tech savvy. I don't recommend this if you don't have experience because you can possibly damage the ribbon cable that attaches to your motherboard and that will void your warranty. So definitely seek out a professional to help you out with this. And that's it for the five most common problems. If you have any more questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If this video helped you guys out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.